Hey guys, this is a video in my TI-30 XS Multi-View Scientific Calculator tutorial series. In this short video, I'm going to show you how to calculate using scientific notation on the TI-30 XS Multi-View. Without further ado, let's get to it. Let's say for example, we want to multiply 8 times 10 to the negative 9 by 9. Let's open a parenthesis. 8 times 10 to the negative 9 and then arrow over and close the parenthesis and multiply by 9 and notice we get this really long decimal answer that's hard to read and if we were trying to get the scientific notation from here it would be very difficult so press the mode button and the second line the first uh, option is norm which is the decimal option and arrow down and arrow over to scientific notation and press enter and then press second mode to quit press enter again to do the last calculation uh, that was entered in the calculator so press enter and this time the calculator gives us the answer in scientific notation which is much easier to read now we can be in another mode, so press mode and let's arrow down and over to engineering. Press enter and second mode to quit. And let's press enter again to do the last calculation. And notice the power here. It's a multiple of three. If you're talking about SI units, you need powers that are multiples of 3. For example, saying 7.2 times 10 to negative 8 meters may be harder to understand or visualize than saying 72 nanometers. So that's the whole point of the engineering mode. It gives us answers with powers that are multiples of 3. And one more thing to note is even in norm mode, let's go back to norm mode. If the answer is really, really large, let's do uh, 8 times 10 to the negative 9 times 0 0.09. If the answer is really large or really small, the calculator will still display the answer in uh, scientific notation. However, for, as you notice, for answers that are the capable for answers that the calculator is capable of displaying uh, in decimal mode, it will display in decimals. So if you want it to see this in scientific uh, notation, you might just want to switch the mode to scientific mode. I hope this video helps. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments section, and I'll try my best to help. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Check out other videos on my channel, especially the graphing and scientific calculator tutorial series. And until next time, take care, guys.